Hey y'all, it's Sheila. Thank you for shopping by. This is uh, another little update on Jerry. Um, I'm hoping before long she'll be able to pop on and say hello to everybody. She is reading all the comments and she is astounded that so many people are leaving comments of love and prayers and good thoughts and good wishes. She's just astounded. And I said to her, why? Why are you astounded? I'm not astounded. Jerry's had a setback. She's had a couple of rough days. Very, very, very rough days. Um, Jerry's bowel sounds. Her bowels quit working. Uh, and she developed an ileus. I'm not going into a lot of great detail about that. Uh, it is spelled I-L-E-U-S. You can Google it. It's a paralytic ileus. It comes tip it typically occurs after you have been put to sleep um, for surgery. Not not put to sleep. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. After you've been sedated for surgery, sometimes your bowels can just not want to wake up. And when it gets to a certain point, it gets dangerous. I do have experience with this because my husband developed an ileus. There goes Lily. After five surgeries in two days, after his motorcycle accident, it can get dangerous. And Jerry's was getting to the point that it was dangerous. The way to correct an ileus is to insert a nasogastric NG tube through your nose into your stomach. And that tube will pull out the contents that are not able to pass through the bowel and out of the body. Not only is it stomach contents, it's other contents from the intestines. It's pretty gross. Yeah. Um, Jerry, as of today, has the tube out. I'm not going to go into a lot of details about what has happened because I think at some point she'll want to tell you herself. But it, it it's dangerous. So... There you go, there's a little update on Jerry, and um, she is reading what you are saying to her, and hopefully very soon you will hear from her herself. Y'all have a great day, make it a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye now.